things next to me are known as Highland Coos. They're found across the Highlands of Scotland and we're very lucky to see them here on the Isle of Mull. I don't really know much about them, but I do know much about the rocks behind us, which is known as the Ross of Mull Granite. Now the Ross of Mull Granite is an igneous intrusion. It intrudes through the crust and it crystallised there in the crust and that's why it makes it coarse grain. It's made up of minerals such as quartz, plagioclase, cave feldspar, which make it pink, and biotite and some mica, well, silica rich. It's a felsic, felsic magma that forms when you have a partial melting of the crust. Now, why is it there? The reason it's there, and it's the same age as some of the other intrusions you find across the highlands of Scotland, is because you had two plates collide with each other, and one subducted under the other one, which carried Avalonia, and eventually Avalonia collided with Laurentia back 450 million years ago during the Caledonian erogeny. And as this happened, it caused partial melting of the crust and all these blobs of magma like kind of seeped up and sometimes erupted at the surface, which is what you see in Glencoe today. You see rhyolite and this site like and some granite as well. Like that's an old volcanic like eruption. This is just a volcanic centre that used to feed maybe a volcano that now the rocks are long gone. This wee guy's horn's a bit bent. I don't really know what's wrong with him, but anyway, yeah, so highland cows and granite. I can't believe how close I am to them. Oh no, that one's standing up. Fuck. Hi, Mr. Cow. Okay, we're gonna go home now, bye.